Hello all, in this ESP32 MicroPython video series, we will see how to implement pulse width modulation. Pulse width modulation can be used on all output enabled pins of ESP32. ESP32 first pin is 3.3 volt, second pin is ground and we will be using the third pin GPU15 in this demo. Long lead of LED is connected to GPU15 and short lead to ground through a resistor. We'll be using two breadboards side by side so that uh, all pins of uh, ESP32 are exposed. And we'll be using Tony Python IDE to develop uh, and uh, upload code onto ESP32. You can check out my previous videos on how to use this uh, Tony Python with MicroPython in my previous videos. Now a short note on pulse width modulation theory. Uh, one cycle time is called as period of a waveform and frequency is 1 by period. The high signal is called as on time and low signal is called as off time. The amount of on time is duty cycle uh, described in percentage. Duty cycle is how much of the period the signal is high. When you increase the duty cycle the output voltage increases and when you decrease output voltage decreases. So a 100% duty cycle means full 3.3 volt and 50% uh, means a square wave. Uh, half the time on and half the time off. Now let us go to the Tony Python and from machine we will import the modules pin and PWM. Then we create a PWM object LED using the pin number GPU15. Just provide the pin number as 15 only. Do not use GPU word. Now the object is created. Uh, you can check the duty LED dot duty. Uh, the current it will return the current duty cycle and LED dot frequency will return the current frequency. You can change the frequency using LED dot frequency. Let us make it as one hertz. Now you can see the LED blinking every one second. Let us increase the duty to 512. Duty can be used from 0 to 1023. 512 means 50% duty cycle. Now you can see the LED blinking as a square wave. Of the time on, of the time off. Uh, this uh, can be implemented in a single code using a pin number, frequency and then the duty cycle. All can be implemented in a single code. Single line of code. You can uh, use the dinit function to stop the P uh, PWM uh, usage. Now instead of interpreter, let us use the editor of uh, Tony Python to write code and then upload it onto ESP32. By default, MicroPython has uh, boot.py file and the main.py and any other modules you want to create uh, that is uh, user created. By default only boot.py will be available and on power up uh, micropython will look out for boot.py and then it will uh, execute the main.py. Under main.py we have uh, uh, created import uh, fade LED that uh, module we have to create and then there is a call for function LED PWM. You can use uh, file uh, save as and then select the MicroPython device to save the file onto ESP32. You can provide the file name .py and then click on save OK to save it on ESP32 directly. Only boot.py is available by default. The other, other files you have to create yourself. Now let us create the uh, fade LED a module inside with uh, there is a call for uh, inside which there is a function LED PWM using def uh, we create the function after colon you note down the indentation this is equivalent to braces in MicroPython it is very important after colon uh, there is indentation which represents braces inside the never-ending loop while true also there is an uh, colon and indentation here we change the duty cycle using in range uh, function that is we change the duty cycle from 0 to 1024 and then uh, we change the duty cycle using LED dot duty and applying the variable and after that we call uh, we implement a, a delay 
so that the LED uh, we see a fading effect of LED now click on uh, uh, save and then save it on to micropython device and click on the green uh, F5 button to e execute now you can see the fading LED effect of uh, PWM now let us implement PWM to control the server position from 0 to 180 degree generally all servers uh, require to be upgraded every 20 millisecond now let us connect the server signal pin at GPU 23 all servers have three wires the, here the center wire is uh, red one that has to be connected to 5 volt so you need a separate power source for, for uh, 5 volt and the third one is uh, ground brown wire and the yellow wire is a signal wire we will be connecting it to 23 GPU 23 a separate power source is required as yes, ESP32 is 3.3 .3 volt device uh, for uh, operation of server we need 5 volt so a separate power source is uh, required now inside Tony Python we will import the uh, two modules pin and PWM from machine and then we create a servo object passing on the pin number 23 and then the frequency as 50 it is very important as every servo request to be upgraded every 20 millisecond we use the frequency uh, 50 and we will be using duty cycle for between 5 and 10% uh, so that the servo moves from 0 to 180 degree 1.5 millisecond pulse moves to 90 degree and 1 millisecond pulse moves to 0 degree and 2 millisecond pulse moves the server to 180 degree we use uh, 20 to 120 duty cycle uh, to implement this 20 duty cycle moves to 0 degree 70 moves to 90 degree and uh, 120 duty cycle moves to 180 degree we use server dot duty to implement this so server can be easily positioned using pwm Thank you for watching.